Hi everybody, this is Mark Clayton with Restore Cars. I want to show you all this project that we've been working on today. This is a uh, timing chain adjuster for a 1926 Lincoln Model L engine. And you can see that somebody just beat the heck out of it. Well, what did we do with it? We decided to fix it with our CNC machining center. The first thing we did is measure everything up and we transferred all of those numbers into our CAD CAM program which happens to be Bobcad. After drawing it on the computer, and you can see it here in 3D, the CAD program automatically generates a toolpath program. And we'll go ahead and run the simulation of the toolpath program just to make sure it all looks good on the computer. And we'll check all of those numbers back against the part just to make sure that it's all well. Any adjustments to be made are made right here on the computer at this stage. So after we verified that it's all good on the computer, then it's time to sacrifice a piece of wood or plastic or foam or something. In this case, we took a piece of wood from the wood shop. It's a piece of uh, white oak and we just chiseled it out of that. Then we check all of the measurements and then we finally get to load up the machine with the tools and what we're actually going to use. In this case, it was a 3 16 four flute, uh, high speed end mill. We're cutting bronze. That's plenty good enough. We spin it real fast. And um, what we'll do is we'll cut off about five thousandths on each side of all of the part just to make sure that we know where all the little fingers are because they got bent in all kinds of different directions when you saw the original piece. So we cut off five thousandths. We see how it all goes. You can see that the tool will cut across all of the surfaces. It just makes it so cool. Here's all of the G codes and the N number lines. I think there's about 2,800 N lines in this and on all the G codes. Can you imagine having to type that in by hand? What a nightmare. Thank God for CAD CAM programs. So after we make our first pass, we cut off about 5 thousandths. We'll go ahead and cut off another 5 thousandths if it didn't clean up. We speed up the program uh, a little bit on this one, even though uh, Bob Cam tells us what uh, is an optimal speed for it. We adjust the speed and the feed rates to suit our fancy. In this case, we're taking off 5. Everything went really well, so we can really hog through it pretty fast. See how nice a finish that is. It just does a beautiful job. These machines are amazing. Every time I use one of these things and chisel out something like this, it just is a, an exciting thing for us to do. So it goes through all the steps, and then, then finally on the outside, it'll cut that outside one and just make it absolutely beautiful. You could do this on a lathe and a mill, but a CNC machining center is definitely the way to go. After about eight hours, this is what the part looks like uh, from beginning to end. Uh, but the part looks like a brand new piece. You would have never known that it looked like this at one time. And then after we get done with it, it looks like this. Isn't that thing a beautiful piece? Thanks for watching.